been gone for a little bit, but sometimes you need to take a break. Yeah. And when you're a mom and you got kids, they take precedent and your lives get busy. And that's usually just how it works. <laughs> if, you're, if you're a parent, you understand. Yeah. So we're back and we're coming with the topic of drama. And when is it time to not be a part of it? I don't think there's ever a time to be a part of it, but when are you just too old for it, lady? Or giving your time and for other people. Boundaries. Right. Boundaries, big thing. And learning about boundaries. Mm -hmm. So what I find is, I guess, is drama will follow those who allow it to follow them. It's kind of how I feel. <laughs> Oh man, I've been slapped in the face a few times with some drama people and it's just basically setting your boundaries and telling them where to go. How do you know when when to set those boundaries? You know, sometimes people can can know when it's happening, know when it's happening to them and not do anything about it or maybe sort of have a feeling that it's happening but maybe ignore that feeling and still allow for that situation or those people to still sort of run their lives mm -hmm. so I think it also depends on the situation too right because sometimes drama to one person can mean a total different to another person right mm -hmm. like um, I don't know if you give like people a scenario of what you think drama would be um say like i don't i don't even know can you come up with like a situation oh, <laughs> you know i'm big on and maybe it's just me and my family um if you bring anything that is negative like anything that's running below the line in terms of vibration so you're either gossiping about somebody or you're saying something negative about somebody. But hang on though, we all do that. As human nature, we all do that once or twice in our life. Absolutely. And we always turn to, of course, our closest friends and people that we can trust to talk to them about that stuff, right? Right. So like when when someone comes over and they're like, oh, did you know that Susie did this? And oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And the other person's like, yeah, I know. I seen that the other day. Can you believe that? Oh, all right. Perfect. That's gossiping, right? right? So let's but say- that's, let's, that's like a conversation between two friends. So let's say that there's three people there, right? Mm -hmm. And then the, the one person goes up and says, hey, did you hear about Susie? Well, I will be the third person with my window rolled a little down, but I won't contribute to the gossip. Mm -hmm. I'll say things like, wow, that's crazy. Cause it is crazy, right? <laughs> it's a little crazy, yeah. but I'm not gonna contribute to, to saying something about Susie because it's none of my business. Mm -hmm. But I mean, my ear is open. Of course, because you like hearing the gossip. Yeah, you I like think to that's hear a, what's But I think around. that's a big thing is that yeah. regardless if you're there, you're going to physically hear it whether you like or not. You can walk away if you want to, but mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm in the lunchroom and everybody, you're sitting at a table and they come and sit down, they're talking about it. Yeah, I guess you can get up if you want to, but you also have the choice of just hearing, like retaining it and then releasing it and not releasing it meaning, hey, did you hear about Susie to somebody else? <laughs> so I think that's always a nice thing. I'm big on staying in your car and in your own lane. But mm -hmm. I have heard people say, some, when is it time for you to step out of your lane if you see something maybe extreme? Yeah. And when is it none of your business? Mm -hmm. Which I think sort of starts to happen a, a little bit more now because everybody's on their phone so you're more um you're more into yourself you're more into what's happening here than what's happening around you people are more quick to pick up a phone there it's like they're in their car but they're taking a video of it rather than yeah. stepping in on moments where 
you know, it, matters, it yeah. really matters. When it becomes physical. Yeah, or, or when it becomes or maybe verbal. Vital, yeah, and vital for somebody to step in. Mm-hmm. I think that's something that people need to, gosh, it's 2018, and these generations are... That's more like bullying, though, right? Yeah. That's not really like drama i'd say is when they're talking bad about another person and then the other person going and telling that person and then starting a problem with the other person that first said it Mm -hmm. or even just other people lying and talking about the other person and then them getting all wild up and being like oh well i'm gonna go tell this person and then that and it it finally gets back to the source Mm -hmm. and then there's like this huge fight Mm -hmm. right so it's to me, that's that. To me, that's drama. Mm-hmm. Um, when you see other people that are physically fighting, that's more like bullying because now you're fighting over something that somebody else said, which might not have been true. Mm-hmm. But you're like you're fighting for yourself, right? right? Your self esteem, your your self image, how yeah. other people perceive you. So you're out there and you're fighting with these people physically. But what is the point? Yeah. Like, really, what is the point on physically fighting with somebody else because Mm -hmm. they said something about you? Mm -hmm. Right? Does their opinion really matter? I was going to go there with that one. Right? Yeah. As you get older, Mm -hmm. you probably care less. Your circle becomes smaller, and Mm -hmm. you realize what's important in life. Mm -hmm. And I now come down to, I'm too old. I'm too old for that. I'm not even that old. I know other, you know, when you're in your 40s, you look at the 30s and say, you guys are not that old. At 36, turning 37, I have no patience nor time for that, especially when you're a parent and you're running a household. There is no time for extra stuff in your life, especially drama. So if you are anywhere in that age range and you are even if you are younger than that and you are a parent it's time to be an adult Mm -hmm. and it that there's no time for that not when you have kids not when you have somebody who's looking up to you and you are their role model you are the Mm -hmm. first person that they see Mm -hmm. so wash away those people And if you feel like you're in that little circle or bubble of people that always have something to say, some story to tell. Or problem to cause you. Right. You know, they always say like when you hang out with negative people, your life stays negative. And if Mm -hmm. you start to put the pieces together and realize, yeah, like that is the case. If I'm hanging out with somebody who's like, oh, like, you know, I just can't make a break. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, you need to sort of step away from those people and sort of figure out where, where you are in life. Yeah, for sure. I always tell the young people, especially when they're in like high school and stuff like that, because you always see the drama in the high school and the bullying and people always talking bad about another person and causing problems for them. I always turn to them and say, these people that are in your life right now will not be in your life in 10 years from now. Very because true. high school does not technically it does not matter yeah. all your friends that you are socializing with now that are causing you drama by the time you hit 18 or 17 whenever you graduate from high school they're not going to be a part of your life 90 mm-hmm. percent of them are not going to be there mm-hmm. so why worry about what they're doing now mm-hmm. why not make a difference now by changing your mindset without thinking that you know oh this person's doing this to me they're bullying me all this stuff but really when you get older it doesn't even matter Mm -hmm. it doesn't matter because they're not even there yeah so you don't have to endure that for the rest of your life it's not the end of the world and you know these people are just going to eventually move on don't feed into those negative people Mm -hmm. yeah that is very true my mom used to say that a lot Mm -hmm. and now i say that yeah where... and even as you get older too the older that you get the less people that you socialize with that you used to socialize with mm-hmm. and you you gain new friends and new crowds and new people that are more on your level mm-hmm. because we are always constantly changing right yeah. so we're always going through each stage of life 
And every time that we go through each stage of life, people tend to either fall away mm -hmm. or they end up going through with it. Right? Yeah. So they grow with us, right? Like we'll, well, of course, we'll have like childhood friends that we've mm -hmm. known since we were like itty bitty. Mm -hmm. Some, some eventually they go their own way. And then some people, they actually stick through it, right? It depends on how fast they're growing. Very true. Yeah. So then what would you say to, I guess it's like a question of the, of the day. Um, what would you say to somebody who is trying to get away from those people? Sometimes what happens is that those are your friends. Those are the people you're comfortable around. Those are the people you've known for a long time. And even if you know that that person might not be good for you, you still continue to hang out with them because you don't even feel like you might meet that level of somebody who is might be a little bit different than like, you in some way in terms like of- Like trying to fit in. Right, exactly. So you're basically trying to fit in. Well, um, if you're friends with people like that and you're surrounded and you have, you have choices, you have choices on who you talk to, who you see, and even if they are childhood friends, it doesn't give them the right passage to cause chaos in your life, right? So the best way to get rid of that is not think negatively and go within their standards always stick up for the second person that they're talking about. If they're talking about somebody bad and, oh, this person did this and, oh, this person did that, maybe stick up for them mm -hmm. and change that cycle. So maybe that person will be like, okay, she obviously isn't, or he isn't listening to what I'm saying. So maybe I shouldn't talk about this with that person. Mm -hmm. And then eventually that drama dissipates and mm -hmm. goes away. Um, it, it, it's all on mindset, right? It, like how you perceive, perceive things, mm -hmm. right, from the other person. So when you vibrate on a higher level, they either stay low and trickle away or they become at the same level as you, mm -hmm. right? So when you're surrounded by positive people, you're, of course, going to feel positive, right? Right? When you're surrounded by negative people, they're going to feel negative. If you're positive up here and they're negative, they're either going to feel you up here or they're just going to stay down here and be like, see you. Mm. Right? Yeah. That's a good one. So um, it's all about boundaries too, right? Setting your boundaries, making sure that that person knows what you will tolerate and what you won't tolerate. Right? Um using your voice your words you know speak up use use your words if this person is distracting you mm -hmm. tell them right especially if they're childhood friends you should be able to talk about anything right mm -hmm. um they're like your number one go-to person i'm gonna you know tell you everything you know my entire life mm -hmm. you grew up around me um, so you should feel comfortable enough to tell that person that you know you don't like how they're acting and you know this is the stipulations you know if you don't change then we can't be friends cool right cool i do want to just add in this is just really random this lady right here <laughs> used to be the most quietest lady i know i'm asking questions and she's answering like it's me like you're giving answers like it's me it's crazy so like seeing you grow to like and you just did it right there. So I just had to, add, <laughs> I had to acknowledge that I didn't have to say anything. I could have left and said, take over. And so, yeah. I just Sorry. To, no, <laughs> like, but like, yeah, from where I you go to where you, so you should take over. I don't need to say that stuff. I yeah. say it all the time. Yeah. So the fact that you said it means like it's spreading, it's getting there. And yeah. Yes. So. <laughs> affirmation as you were saying all that stuff i'm like yeah an affirmation for those who feel like an affirmation is great you say it over and over in your head all of a sudden it's in there it's ingrained in the cells in your brain mm -hmm. so an affirmation would be for this particular topic when we talk about drama would be i am worthy of 
positive, loving people in my life. I am worthy of positive, loving people in my life. And you say that over and over again, then those positive and loving people will show up. Or you can only say, I am surrounded mm -hmm. by positive people in my life. Right. Yeah. I use that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> And the more you do that, the more those people will show up. Mm -hmm. And the less those other people will come around because they're gonna be like, Who are you? Yeah. And you'll be talking like this person right here. Oh yeah. You'll be talking like her. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what everybody should be doing. Mm -hmm. So we're at fifteen minutes. I think this is a good time. We're back. Yes. We're so back. And we're system. we're gonna stay. Yeah. Hopefully. Um Things will turn out great and yeah. Yeah. Peace. All right. See you.